when we were x-raying the mummies in the Egyptian Museum back in the 1970s, we first identified this problem. And it, it, we identified it because when we had pathologists look at the x-rays, we said, what is the age of death of these people? And they would give us a number of, this person died at the age of 20. And yet this person is supposed to be the pharaoh so-and-so, and according to historians, he lived until he was 55 years old. How do you resolve this difference, 55 years or 20? Well, we thought the reason might be that when the mummies were moved from their tombs to the royal caches, the names that had been placed in the, uh, the wrappings fell off and were removed and put back on the wrong mummies. And so we went through a similar thing that we did now with the, uh, the KV-5 mummies. Uh, uh, craniofacial analysis, discriminant function analysis, a statistical test that shows in effect the best fit. This mummy is more similar to this than it is to that. By doing that, those kinds of tests with the mummies in the Egyptian Museum, we were able to show that this mummy may not be Amenhotep II. More likely, it is uh, Tutmosis III. Making those changes based on statistical study, we discovered that by re-identifying the mummies, everything fit perfectly. Age of death, everything else. And so, yes, I think the mummies, many of them, were wrongly identified. And we went through, uh, particularly uh, Ed Wente and Jim Harris, went through and re-examined the mummies and I think came up with some very, very good suggestions.